Donald Trump. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, right there, you said more than. Well, yeah, the first two words. Oh, okay. Yeah, for Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> then there was a thought process yeah. after that. Uh, <laughs> it's got to stop. What are you doing? Right? It's got to There's stop. no stop. There is no one in his circle. Maybe out on the maybe the, the ninth hole, the the, the eleventh hole. Mm-hmm. Don. Hey, come here a second. How about we not attack our own? Come here a second. Uh, before, before, you, before you chip that up on the green, come here. <laughs> what are you doing? And just because other people are getting attention doesn't diminish you in any way. So just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Yes. You're plenty popular. You know it. You're, you've People love we you. We can love both of you. Right. We can love both right. of you. Again, he's trying to launch a preemptive strike. He's trying to torch him. And in the process, he might burn down the whole party. Cool. Yeah. And I think that Ron DeSantis is playing it very wisely by not, not saying responding. Oh, right. Yep. Just worry about Florida. He's got Florida to worry about. I'm taking care of my state. Yep. Mm, yep. He went back to the Ron De Sanctimonious Ugh. line yesterday. Uh, and then he accused media outlets like, uh, you know, owned by Murdoch uh, and his family of colluding against him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. News Corp, which is Fox, he wrote. The Wall Street Journal and the no longer great New York Post. Bring back Cole. I don't know who Curl, Cole, Cole is, C-O-L. Maybe that's the managing editor. I don't know. Is all in for Governor Ron to Sanctimonious, an average Republican <laughs> governor with great public relations. No. No. He's- he is, there's nothing average about Ron DeSantis. Who didn't have to close up a state, but did, unlike other Republican governors. Wait. What? Wait. Did he ever? Was it ever? Maybe for a very, very short time? Maybe when you said 15 days to flatten the curve, Yeah, and Mr. let's President. also, don't be playing that game, yeah, no President kidding. Trump, because when he you jumped all yeah. over Brian Kemp in Georgia for trying to open up on April 22nd. Right. When you had said previously, right. we're going to get this done before Easter, we're going to be back to normal. And that was April 12th. So don't go back and change history. Come on now. Yeah, a little revisionism Absolutely. going on here. And by the way, you brought us the vaccine. Okay, you poured all kinds of governmental funds into getting, and I was in favor of that. Absolutely, hundred percent. But let's again, let's not rewrite history here. Uh, wow. So he didn't have to close up his state, but did, unlike other Republican governors whose overall numbers for a Republican were just average, middle of the pack, including COVID, and who has the advantage of sunshine. Oh where no. People from badly run states up north would go no matter who the governor was, just all like right. I did. Right. Just like I did. And then I this, did. you know, it's the all. He came begging to me like a dog right. thing. Ron came to me in desperate shape in 2017. He was politically dead, losing in a landslide to a very good agriculture commissioner, Adam Putnam. Adam Putnam. He's a good man. Who was loaded up with cash and great poll numbers. Ron had low approval, bad polls, no money. But he said if I would endorse him, he could win. I didn't know Adam. So I said, let's give it a shot, Ron. (laughs) When I endorsed him, it was as though, to use a bad term, a nuclear weapon went off. (laughs) Years later, they were the exact words that Adam Putnam used in describing Ron's endorsement. He said, I went from having it made with no competition to immediately getting absolutely clobbered after your endorsement. That's why the agriculture uh, commissioner is a good man to Trump. He is a good man. Because he comp- well, he well, may be. He is a good guy. He's a Florida guy. That's I all like it takes with Trump. That's all it takes. Say and something I, nice about him, and yes. he's yours. And I did think he had a shot at uh, being governor of Florida. I mean, he's, he's that good of a guy in Florida. And yet? And yet, no. Work. Yeah. Uh, I then... Got Ron uh, by the star of the Democrat Party, Andrew Gillum, who was later revealed to be a crackhead, among other things. Yeah, yeah, a lot of things. (laughs) By having two massive rallies with tens of thousands of people at each one. I also fixed his campaign, which had completely fallen apart. I was all in for Ron, and he beat Gillum. But after the race, then votes were being stolen by the corrupt election process in Broward County. And Ron was going down by 10,000 votes a day, along with the now Senator Rick Scott. I sent in the FBI and the U.S. attorneys 
and the ballot theft immediately ended. Well, we appreciate you doing your job, Mm -hmm. Mr. President. Yeah. Just prior to them running out of votes necessary to win, I stopped his election from being stolen. Then he went on to, to accuse DeSantis of playing games. The fake news asks, asks him if he's going to run if President Trump wins or runs. If President Trump runs, are you going to run? And he says, I'm only focused on the governor's race. I'm not looking Ooh, into the future. Fighting words. So not. It's insane, man. So it's not. absolute insane, this reaction. But Trump over says, well, in terms of loyalty and class, that's really not the right answer. Wow. Wow. You talk about a guy with major insecurity. Sheesh. Uh, put America first, Mr. Trump, and stop this madness. Please. Please, just stop. We, we've got so many problems right now. Uh, we've got so much division. We certainly don't need another division within the Republican Party as we head into 2024. We don't need this. In fact, we, we can't afford it. I mean, right. this could cost dearly. And it, You've got a guy who's is. skyrocketing, but he just he can't handle that. He just can't stand it. He I can't mean, abide it. They're already People are already dropping off the Trump train, mm. uh, you know, in the Republican Party. They're saying, you know, I, that they couldn't endorse him now. This is over. I mean, Winston, yeah. uh, if we can play it later or now, but Winston Sears, the lieutenant governor of yeah. Virginia— uh, was on is on record now, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, saying uh, I can't support him. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's could you just take the high road once, <laughs> just once <laughs> would be nice. Just take the high road on this thing and just be quiet. Make your announcement next week. Let's see what happens. No, he can't. He just can't. He's not capable of that. And maybe he stay out of Georgia. <sighs> oh, definitely want to stay out of Georgia. Let me stay out of Georgia. Yeah, especially because, you know, uh, mm. Raffensburger won big. They don't – yeah, that's not going to help at no, this it's point. Not. No, it, uh, it would not. I, I, In fact, it might dissuade people from coming out at this point mm-hmm. for Herschel Walker. Just a darn shame. It really is. I know. Because, you know, he did such great things as president and uh, really won us over. He won all of us Absolutely. Over. Absolutely. You know, just calm down and do that again. Win us over with your actions. You, you don't have to attack people in your own party. There's, it, the, there's enough attention to go around. Especially from the guy who's, you know, was arguably at the top now. That's, yeah. I mean, that's why he's pissed, obviously. I get it. But, you know, so what? We're st- we still love you. You're still doing your rallies. Everybody's showing mm-hmm. up. Nobody's saying, oh, I can't come see Donald Trump because I like Ron DeSantis. Right. And as your poll showed, you're way ahead of him anyway. This is this right. Can't, this can't help. You know, punching mm. downward mm. can't help. Right, right. If you really have 71% of the vote in this poll right. and DeSantis is at 10, the worst thing you can do is give him oxygen. Start talking about it. Right. It's the yeah. worst thing you could do. And remember, it's, it's thought that what really set him off might have been some backroom conversations that Ron DeSantis had. Uh, with McCarthy and other GOP leaders. And I like this tweet from John Cardillo overnight. All of you criticizing others for talking to people like McCarthy forget that Trump endorsed McCarthy twice, Mitt Romney once, Mitt Romney's niece twice, Mm -hmm. Lindsey Graham, Mm -hmm. kept McConnell's wife in a cabinet position and hired the FBI director who has persecuted his supporters. So, Uh I mean, let's, Uh let's, I mean, we're going to do this now. You want to have this argument and this discussion for the soul of the Republican Party in 2022 instead of waiting for 2024? Yeah. You you really don't want people talking about your past actions. No kidding. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you donated to Obama and Hillary and all of that stuff. Uh, come on. It's stop the madness. Oh, of course I donated to Hillary. She, they all came begging to me like dogs. Like a dog. <laughs> 